on today's episode, what? What? Why are you looking at me that way? You, have you never seen a guy with eyebrows before? If you're watching this on the toilet right now, which you probably are, hit subscribe and turn on all notifications to be part of the Toilet Squad. <laughs> Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Front Page Tech FPT The show that gives you all latest tech news from one geek that is me to another that is you Just a totally normal guy with totally normal eyebrows Hey, it's the beginning of the week Sort of, it's Tuesday, which is near the beginning Which means there's a brand new episode of my podcast, Genius Bar Available on all your favorite podcast apps And listen, I'm on to you, I tell you what I know there's a ton of you watching this right now that have never heard that show. So I'll put links down in the description below. If you like FPT and you want more me, you can get hours of me from that podcast. Oh, and uh, Sam is on it too, but you know, Sam is Sam. I'm a helicopter. Woo! All right, let's jump into the news. And listen, it was a slow news day. I did a ton of work just to be able to get these three stories. So you better watch this whole thing. All right, so first up for the day, story numero uno, <sighs> T-Mobile. What? What happened to you? So like four or five months ago, T-Mobile announced TV Division. TV Vision? Division. Their live streaming TV service that they said would change TV. You know, like they did with the whole mobile carrier movement. Yeah, they're gonna do the same thing, but for TV this time. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Uh, but yesterday they announced, uh, f all that, I guess. They decided that they couldn't do it and just said YouTube TV is the leader in this space. Which, like, uh, yeah, uh-huh, yes, I have YouTube TV and I love it, I would agree. But, like, you didn't even... You didn't even try. Anyway, along with this, they said it offers, meaning YouTube TV, offers the same great flexibility, robust content, and convenience that the division customers love. In other words, translation, we can't do it. They've been doing it longer. Use that. I don't know what to tell you. T-Mobile will officially be shutting down their live TV service on April 29th. So they are giving you very short notice here. Hopefully you didn't like it because who cares if you did. The best part about this is they're like sugarcoating it to make it sound way better than it is. CEO Mike Seaver tweeted, our multi-year deal with Google in part got us thinking that it's time to take our division strategy to the next level so you can get rid of cable so we're adding YouTube TV and Philo exclusive offerings. What? What are you saying? Like this is a, like you're painting this as like you did this as a good thing. This is good. This would be like me saying to take our vision of FPT to the next level, we're ending the show so you can go watch Pocket Now. But to be fair, I mean, look at, look at Jaime. Just look at him. What a man. The pure level of just didn't try is amazing on this. This reminds me of like the killed by Google stuff. I would fully expect Google to announce something and then kill it within five months, but T-Mobile? Like why did you even waste everyone's time? Huh, unless, unless this was the plan all along. Like that one time where Michael started the Michael Scott paper company and knew he was broke, but still managed to convince Dunder Mifflin to acquire him. Maybe this is what T-Mobile wanted all along and so they just did this knowing it wasn't gonna work just to eventually get Google to talk to them. Either way, T-Mobile, I'm very disappointed. And you can tell I'm disappointed because of the expressions from my real eyebrows, indicating my real disappointment. You remember that time when you were younger, when your dad sat you down and had that conversation with you about always using protection? You know what he was talking about, right? We VPN, that's right. Using the internet without a VPN is like raw dogging every website you visit. You nasty ass. You wanna be nasty? Protect yourself, your privacy, and your dignity across all of your devices with WeVPN. And unlike other VPNs, WeVPN does not keep any of your logs, it doesn't track you, trace you, and allows you to stream any content from anywhere with no restriction. And it's super fast too. That's right. You can go as fast as you want, even while you're wearing protection. And because WeVPN is part of the Toilet Squad, you can get an extra 10% off just by using the promo code FPT at checkout. And of course, a huge thanks to WeVPN for paying my electric bill. Okay, but what if like I didn't wear this as an eyebrow and I wore it as a mustache? Because more than anything, I think I want a mustache more than I want eyebrows. Oh. Okay.
Yep, would rather have a mustache. Okay, so I have command strips. Since these don't stick anymore, I will apply command strips and make a mustache. That's what I'm, that's my plan. And just like that, I have a mustache. Anyway, second story of the show, uh, there's one way that you can cause everyone to have a stroke all at once, like full on group stroke, and it happened yesterday. The Apple Store, the Mac Store, iMessage, iCloud, they all went down yesterday at 10 a.m. on a Monday, on a work day. Of course, I didn't notice because I was sleeping. It was 10 a.m. Pacific time, which I'm pretty sure made it noon for me, and noon any day of the week, I'm not awake yet, but why would I be? I don't have a job. Do, do I look, do I look like a guy that has a job? Now, I know a lot of you might be confused or like wondering why I would even be reporting this. Unless it's down right now, who cares, right? If you can send nudes on iMessage right now, then what does it matter? Well, this is for people who experienced it yesterday and had a stroke not knowing if it was a problem on their end. For those people, number one, uh, Sorry about your stroke. And two, no, it wasn't you. It was actually Tim Cook. All his fault. Listen, I told you it was a slow news day. I told you. All right, last up for the day, last story. This is a weird one. It's a nerdy one, so stick with me on this. I'll try to make sense of it, I guess. So I was just scrolling around desperately looking for news, and this popped up. TSMC, which stands for Taiwan semiconductor manufacturing company. Speaking of not trying, they didn't. Company that makes this thing in this place. Great, great, thank you, thank you very much. Anyway, effectively, they take the designs from companies like Apple and actually physically produce the components. That's how Apple does a lot of their business, like even with their displays. Even though it's manufactured by Samsung and other companies like LG and maybe BOE, the design element of everything of those panels is actually from Apple. That's why you see the whole designed by Apple in California thing plastered on everything. Because yes, it is actually designed by engineers at Apple and then they outsource that production. Anyway, TSMC, the company that makes the thing at the place, actually makes Apple's chips. They make chips for a lot of different companies, but Apple is a huge client of theirs, obviously. Uh, the chips for iPhone, iPad, Mac, all of that. That company from that place experienced a water shortage. Now you're probably like, what the f This is not where I expected this story to go. I know, all right? Hang on. Long story short, because of the water shortage and with demand increasing, according to these reports anyway, that has enabled TSMC to walk back previous agreements and negotiate higher contracts. Those reports are claiming that TSMC is planning a chip price increase by 25% by the end of 2021, which in turn, would mean prices for iPhones go up. Okay, so after all that, basically what these reports are claiming is that TSMC gets to charge Apple and other companies that they work with more per chip and then to cover those costs, you gotta pay more for an iPhone. Okay, so where do I start? Uh, no, that's where I'd like to start. Uh-uh. First of all, that's not how contracts work. That's the whole point of a contract so that one of the parties can't just be like, actually, never mind, I want 25% more. That's literally why they exist. I can totally see this happening, if this whole water shortage rumor is true, for their more short-term customers. Like, sure, they might want to charge them 25% more to make up the cost. But for other clients like Apple, Qualcomm, Intel, uh, no, those contracts are longer term, more important relationship. Those contracts are in place and likely have been in place for years. Plus, I'm sure if they walked over to Tim Cook and was like, hey man, uh, actually we'd like to renegotiate our contract and have you pay 25% more. Tim would be like, ha, good morning and f you. And then walk his happy ass to a factory and build each chip himself by hand just to save the money or, you know, just do what he normally does and get a bunch of little children to build it with their tiny children fingers. <laughs> to be fair, okay, I'm not saying that the price for the iPhone 13 won't be higher than what you paid for the iPhone 12. I'm just saying that this won't be the reason. This is total nonsense, and the people that reported it in this way are all on drugs. And one of the sites reporting it in this way 
is phone arena and at the bottom of the page they have listings for the entire iphone 13 series that looks like an amazon web page like with specs and everything like this was on the like this was on best buy's website like what the hell why do you display this stuff as if it's confirmed and you can like buy it what even is this and that's coming from a guy that looks like this okay that's how low you are right now all right, that's the show. Hopefully you made it this far. If you liked it, you're learning thing, you didn't, but I have to say that. Hit the like button if you hate my stupid face. Dislike button, that works too. If you're new here, subscribe, but I wouldn't. I would just go watch Pocket Now after this. Uh, bye, I guess. Man, this was a rough one. <laughs>